these six gems were owned by a few people. These people are called the Great Warriors. The Great Warriors had all these gems, one for each out of the six warriors. But then they retired from their old job, so their gems are just stuck in the middle of nowhere. Six people shall find these gems and call themselves warriors. They will defeat the darkness that happens around this world. Our first story is about this here gem. This purple gem will be founded by a young courageous girl who loves the color purple. All the gems decided to spread out, spread out all throughout the world. So whoever shall find them shall be called one of the bravest, bravest warriors. But this first gem was found by Spectre Vondergeist, a young girl. Wow, today is so beautiful. I hope, I hope that I can find some people, some pictures out today because today is so beautiful at this campsite. Ooh. What's that on the floor right there? Looks like a gem. It's pretty though. Really pretty. Uh, how you doing, Jim? Oh, who am I kidding? I'm friendless. I just sit and blog all day online, and those are my only friends. Well, you must be my only friend, Jim. You're cool, Jim. You're purple. And purple's my favorite color. Knowing me, because, well, I'm the ghost, and I love the color purple. <laughs> Well, Jim, I think you should come home with me. Of course. Of course you should come home with me. You're so pretty and you're going to come home with me. As Spectra touched the gem, her life changed forever. What was that strange vision that just happened? Oh, well, Jim, I know you're not the cause of it. <laughs> I kick you all the way home. <laughs> and that's how Spectre Vondervice found her gem. Her gem was pretty simple to find. Some others might have to travel more farther. Our next person to find a gem is Claude Wolf. Here's his story. I'm so bored. I think I want to climb a mountain today. Oh, I'm not climbing a mountain. What am I kidding? I can't even do one pull-up. What's that? It matches my outfit. Ha! <laughs> of course it matches my outfit. Because my outfit matches everything. Oh, who am I kidding? It matches nothing. It doesn't even match my whole outfit total. My gosh. Well, you're a pretty little gem. Where'd you come from? Silent, eh? Well, hopefully you're a gem. It didn't transport me to another dimension. Oh, you won't fit in my coat. Come on, Jim. Jim, you can fit in my coat. Ah! Here, I got... There you go, Jim. You're perfectly safe in my coat. And now I'm gonna start walking home to my den. Ma! I found Jim! Good job, sweetie!
Ma! Ma! And that's the story on how Claude found his gem. The next story is about Rochelle. Rochelle's a gargoyle who has to stand watch every stand watch on top of a building. But she didn't want to anymore. She didn't want to anymore because it was so boring up there. She couldn't make any friends. So she decided to explore one day. Keeping watch over the city. Do, 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 do. How fun is this? <sighs> Not that much fun. I never seemed to move in my life. Ah! Well, that was wrong. I'm probably going to get in trouble now. Ooh, my hair is messy. I've never have it actually seen my face in a mirror. I've just looked and looked and looked around. I've never even seen my outfit. Ooh, it's pretty cute. Well, I think I'm going to go for a little walk around town. Because since I haven't seen anything around here. <gasps> Whoa, it's hard for me to walk. I've never walked in my life. I don't even know how to walk. I guess I'll just crawl the rest of my life. Hey, look at you. You're pretty cool. You look like a button. You're cute as a button anyways. Well, I think I will take you home. Let's put you in my pocket. My pocket. Come on, Jam, let's go back to my own job. Uh. Huh. Huh. And that was the story on how Rochelle Goyle found her gem. Now, this is the story on how. Honey Swamp found her own gem. Her gem looked like a rock because she used to live in the swamps of home. In in the bayou. But she decided to move move away to Oregon. And go to the school of Monster High. But she hasn't made any friends yet. Dancing around, dancing around. Hmm. I'm so bored. I'm not bored with taking over me. Well, how about you, little rock? You don't actually look like a rock from the swamps of home. <sighs> You're pretty cool, though. I think I shall take you home. Come on, Rock. Rock, come on. Rock. Rock. Oh, yeah, you're a rock. Never mind. I'll just pick you up. <sighs> now I have a new rock. And that's how she got her rock. But she wasn't the only one that had no friends around. Claudia was another one. Claudia had no friends. But Claudia was a teenager. Well, more like an adult. She could drive. She was pretty much 19. That's her gem right there. And that's her foot stepping on right now. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that kind of tickled me. Uh, well, you were the one that made me fall. 
You're pretty cool. I think I will take you home. Ma, I found rocks. Same as your brother. My brother found rock? Yeah, he found a rock. Ugh. Claude, you're in so much trouble. And that's how she found her gem. Her gem was pretty cool. Her gem, her gem was the sister, was supposed to be the sister of Claude's gem. Cause they're siblings. Then there was Gigi. Gigi was made fun of because of her pointy ears and her hairstyle. And her outfit because it was so last century. But she always loved to climb mountains. So one day she did it and found her gem. <sighs> Oh my god, that was a long mountain hike. Woo! Well, hello, Jem. You're pretty. You look like my hair. Well, I think I'm going to take you home. To remember how long it took for me. But how am I going to get down? I'm just going to jump, am I? Well, that was enough for our jump. Uh, come on, Jam, let's go. <laughs> now the la now that everyone found their gem, the strangest thing happened. Their gem rose up in the air and crash on their forehead. They were asleep for a few days until 